This is a short tutorial on linked objects. I will uh, start by uh, describing how linked objects are created and then go into uh, what linked objects actually are. So I'm going to select a tool, add it with Y symmetry, let's say in the scene. I'm going to add it one more time here and then I'll pick another tool and again add it with Y symmetry. Uh, so automatically the objects uh, that are added in the scene, the, if I use the same tool and add it multiple times in the scene, these objects will be all linked. And how can I see this? Uh, if I hold the Alt key, as you can see here for uh, create actions, this changes for on single uh, to on linked. I am inserting on linked or on single object. Uh, for transforms, for instance, or all the other assemble options here. Uh, when I uh, hold Alt, I go from linked to unlinked. And as you can see, the selection is extended to the to all the linked objects. So what does this mean? What does uh, what does linked actually do? Uh, let's take transform, but it, as I said, it works for all of the actions in the assemble menu. Um, I can move it on its own, unlinked, or move all the linked objects. Uh, now, because of the symmetry, as you can see, if I move this one up, this one will move down along the uh, along its y-axis because we uh, started with a mirror symmetry. Uh, this one is the same as this one, so it will move up as well, but on a shorter distance because this one has a smaller scale when it was added. Same for these two. As you can see, the symmetry is preserved. And uh, this is very important for uh, symmetric or very complex uh, assemblies, like, uh, let's say, the fingers uh, of a character. If you move one finger on one hand, uh, on the other hand, it will move uh, in mirror so all the actions will actually will preserve the the symmetry of a symmetric body um, but as you've noticed if i move this one uh, on its own unlinked uh, but i continue to move then as linked the extra transform is applied to both and it's applied in a, a intuitive manner. So I still move this one uh, on its y-axis up. This one will move down in the scene along its own y-axis. So yeah, this comes in handy for, uh, as I said, for uh, larger uh, assemblies. And the other way to create links is to actually link objects together. So I can, they don't necessarily need to have the same geometry. I can link any object to any other object. So now I'm going to link this one to this one. And I'm removing the link. I'm unlinking this one from the uh, link graph. Uh, and I can do this either by selecting unlink 
long click here to uh, get the uh, extended menu or just holding control and I switch to the unlink. So unlinking this one and I'm also unlinking this one. Right now, if I hold Alt and see which are the linked objects, we can see that these three are now linked. This one is on its own and this one is on its own. So if I move this one, all the linked objects, no matter the, their geometry, uh, will also move together. And this is also important because uh, taking again the a character, for instance, uh, and let's say he has one arm that that is robotic and the other arm that is uh, organic, you will still be able to, if you link the two arms, you will still uh, move the organic uh, when you move the robotic arm. For instance, if you want to have to maintain the, the symmetry uh, in the object, even if the geometry, organic versus robotic, is not uh, the same. Uh, and to show you also that the geometry is uh, actually uh, different and the link doesn't have anything to do with this, uh, I can sculpt, so I'm switching to the sculpt tools. I can sculpt one mesh, so this mesh is repeated multiple times, or I can sculpt the other. And this has nothing to do with the uh, linkage, because as you can see, if I switch to assembly, these three are linked, whereas this one and this one are not linked. On the geometry side, these three have the same geometry and these two have the same geometry. You can also see this in uh, the object menu. Here you can see the links. Uh, so we have four links for this mesh and Y4 because we have this one, this one, this one, but also this one, which was only now updated with this new form. And we can see this if we add this one in the scene, all these ones are linked. And now we have five links, the four in the scene and the one in the tool map. One thing to notice is if I move any of the linked objects in the scene, the one in the tool menu doesn't uh, suffer the same change. So the link doesn't, uh, the link, uh, the actions uh, submitted on the uh, linked objects in the scene do not have repercu repercussions in the tool menu. Even in, uh, if I, if say I put this one in the tool panel here, uh, if I do anything on these, it will not affect this one, it will not affect this one, or any of the other uh, tool menu objects. One other thing that I can do on these, and I'm going to select another way to, to place in the scene. Text symmetry. Okay, so I can add stuff on this one with the symmetry, or I can add on all the linked objects. And as you can see, it automatically adds on all of these. Uh, now, the weird part is that sometimes you don't see... Uh, it won't really correspond to what you would expect on uh, objects with other uh, geometry. So I'm adding this here because I want it like this. 
this is the symmetry that I intend to have but on this one maybe I want it to add here and here and this is not the case because it's always it always depends on the uh, on the axis on the frame of reference of, of that particular uh, object so um, again another thing you can do really crazy things and this was a feature from the beginning right now if I add on all linked it's gonna add all linked objects on all of these and so on again and again and fast enough you're gonna get all these crazy hierarchies well this is not really a, a very helpful feature unless you want to create like um, trees or uh, things that have that uh, fractal uh, shape above them uh, but yeah it's mostly useful in this uh, first level uh, add and to actually modify some of these uh, uh, these objects at the same time another interesting stuff is I'm going to switch to PBR rendering and another interesting stuff is the changing the material on all of these so let me change it first on this one I'm going to put a red color and now I'm going to modify all the uh, linked objects let me move this on the side and as you can see I'm only modifying the current so only the current property that I'm modifying in link mode will affect all the objects the colors since I didn't change anything here uh, remain the same as before so for this one is still red and for the one I clicked and the others is still white if I start changing the color here then it will affect the others as well or remove the lit property add some light yeah or make them transparent uh, remove metalness and all that so this is in a nutshell uh, the linked objects and uh, this is going to be useful for the tutorial on the astronaut that I'm gonna uh, show afterwards uh, where this linked property behaves a bit differently when you create uh, bones uh, meaning that if I uh, select the bone let me just start again uh, okay um, I select bone let me go back into this uh, mode and uh, for bones if you add with symmetry they will be linked so you can see it here but even if I didn't change the tool and now I add two bones here as you can see this one will be linked but they won't be linked to these ones even though I didn't change the tool and this is helpful because uh, when you want to create a skeleton usually it helps to unlink the object um, after it was added in a scene with symmetry and this is helpful why because let's say 
Then I want to do this. So I'm making a pair of legs. And then I'm gonna split some bones. And I want to split and create uh, the foot for both these legs. And how do I do this? I can do this. But I want to do it on both of them at the same time. And I can do this because only these two are linked. If they were linked to all the others, and I'm going to show you what would happen. Let me link this one to this one. And now I'm going to do another split. And because this one was linked to this one, and I link this one to this one, everything is linked now. All these four ones are linked. And I'm going to split this bone and all the linked ones, and this is what happens. So already the frame is uh, the frame of reference is different on this on this one, and that's why it goes in weird directions as well. And I'm affecting also these bones, which normally shouldn't. So let me go in the history and unlink. Uh, undo the linkage and now these ones are linked and these ones are linked so adding another joint here is okay and adding another joint here is also okay okay so this is um, let's say a basic tutorial on uh, linked objects and uh, showing you a bit their usage and um, what they're useful for. But we'll see this in a more detailed uh, tutorial with the astronaut. Um, again, linkage only works for assemble actions, uh, not for the sculpting. The sculpting is strictly related to um, the geome geometry, the, the underlying geometry of an object. And yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.